Hey, is it recording? Yep. Yes, you're recording. We'll have to do some editing. It's fine. Yep. We'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. All right, welcome to the Social Studies Elective Information. Um, we're here to give you quick info on the electives in our department. We have a list of minimal homework classes where if you're present and you use the time, you should have little to no homework. We'll start off with the history of sports in America, where we, we will use sports as the vessel to talk about um, events throughout our country's history, such as the civil rights movement, women's rights movement, and Vietnam. I'm now going to hand off to Ms. Eubank. Hi. You uh, criminology is open to all grade levels at CHOM. It's our most popular elective, probably in the school, but definitely in the social studies department. And if you like true crime shows, you'll love criminology. I'm going to hand this off to our next class. Well, I'm going to argue with Ms. Eubank because I think uh, World War II through film is our most popular class. We might, you know, need to, to fight about that. No, this is another one of our more popular electives. This is open uh, for all the grade levels. Um, and we spend the whole semester looking at World War II um, as we watch different uh, films that have made about different events and people, um, as, as well as um, read some different uh, stories. Um, about people who um, lived through these uh, particular events. We also have a new class this year, Ethnic Studies, certainly going to be the most popular class very, very soon, not to throw in the competition. Uh, it's a really amazing class. It's uh, got really great feedback this year. Kids are loving it, uh, focused on those historically marginalized communities. So lots of opportunities to share your voice, hear narratives and stories that you don't normally hear in a lot of your classes. It's amazing. You'll love it. Sign up. I'll pass it on. All right. We now have a group of what we call light homework classes. There will be um, 15, 20 minutes of homework a couple days a week. World geography, it's like AP Human Geo Light. Um, we'll focus on physical geography and also talk about human interaction with the environment and such issues as population, migration, religion, communication, and more. Mr. Kernell. All right, we have a semester elective called sociology and we study group interaction. So we look at conformity, human aggression, uh, we talk about cults, and then we also deal with uh, other issues like does the concept of race actually exist? We look at sex and gender um, and economic inequality. So it's, it's very topical, very interesting, and it's a fun semester long elective. All right, I also teach uh, the two psychology classes and they're both year long and all sociology and psychology is open to students nine through 12. Um, and in both psychology classes, you can earn Whatcom Community College credit for doing the work that we do here uh, at Seaholm. Uh, the intro to psych class is fairly light. You'll have a little bit of homework uh, once or twice a week. And then the fun part on that class is second semester, it's all about abnormal psychology. Uh, the a AP Psych is a very manageable AP class. Uh, we've got about 14 chapters of work. Uh, it's easy to pace it out through the uh, school year. Uh, and it's, it's uh, once again, the, it's about human behavior, individuals, how does the brain work? Uh, and it's a ton of fun. And next we have Mr. Viz with AP Econ. Mm -hmm. yeah, AP Economics, uh, year long course, pretty light on the homework load. We don't do a lot with the textbook. Uh, we have a lot of different conversations about things. Um, recommended for juniors and seniors with a little bit of uh, experience under your belt with dealing with money, financial things. Um, you can take two AP tests, big selling point. You don't have to, but you can take both the AP macro and microeconomics kind of broken down by semesters, but we really, it's a year long course and we do a little bleeding in uh, both of those. Macroeconomics is all about how the government makes decisions about economic policy. Microeconomics is all about mostly how businesses make decisions about economic policy. And so it's really not like a stock market thing. Uh, it's, it's all about decision making um, and really trying to kind of like quantify a little bit mathify um, how we make decisions and how governments make decisions and businesses. Hey, this is uh, AP US government and comparative government. Like economics, it's a one year long class that you can actually take two AP exams for. The first semester is US government and we run it project-based, big mock simulations, moot court cases, very fun and engaging and interactive. 
The second semester is comparative government where we look at some really fascinating countries, Iran, Nigeria, Russia, and that's all. This is great for seniors and juniors. All right, so AP US history is one of your options your junior year to take for your uh, required uh, US, his US history credit. So you can either take regular US or you can uh, choose to take AP US history. Kind of like you've heard from the other AP uh, classes, uh, this opportunity allows you to take uh, the AP exam at the end of the year and in passing may be able to earn college credit. Um, as for homework, a, a big load of it is the reading outside of class. It's about a chapter a week, um, so it's quite manageable in that. And we do um, a lot of different takes, conversation, um, and looking at our history pre-1491 to as present as we can get. All right, we have a couple other um, AP classes that you may look into and contact instructor about. AP European History is for juniors and seniors with Mr. Wisting. Wisting. So if interested, see him during the elective fair. And you can come visit myself, uh, Mr. Ryan, if you're interested in AP Human Geography. AP World History would also be um, visiting Mr. Wisting on in the elective fair. Thanks for listening. We hope to see you in class next year. Bye. Hi. Hi.